Hello there guys and welcome back to my Pokemon Nuzlocke episode 3. Today we are going to go take on both our rival Shark and uh, the gym leader. Let's take a quick look at the Pokemon though where we left off last time. Uh, we've got Wings, he's levelling up quite nicely, level 11. He's going to do some good stuff. Not in the gym unfortunately, he's weak to rock. but. Tails, he's leveling up really well, the attack stats are really good. Zippo, same again, he's leveling up really well, got some really good stats. And Stinger, yeah. Stinger, as I said in the last one, he levels up really slowly, so I'm going to focus on leveling him up after we get through the gym. I just want to get through that gym. Um, but, I saved in Viridian City, so let's go take on Shaw. Let's go take on our rifle. We shouldn't lose anyone because, you know, Shar is level 9, whereas we're level 11. And we can catch a new Pokemon here. I'll catch them after. Alright, so who do I want to lead off? I don't want to lead off with wings, so... Who should I... Yeah, we'll go with Tails. Tails is a good option. And yeah! Nothing to do but challenge Shah. Hey Dan, you're off to the Pokemon League. You ready? You probably don't have the badges. God won't let you through. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Rival Shah would like to battle. I've only got two Pokemon. I've got four already. Oof. An evolved one. Ah. Lead off with a nice tackle. Yeah, that's a good bit of damage. Not worried about this Pidgey because it, it's not going to do a lot. Oh, sand attack. I'm not too worried about that. And down. And then it's just the Squirtle afterwards. Yep, there we go. Yep, just keep tackling. Tails can take this thing out. Easy peasy. Oh, nice crit. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're nicely over leveled, so this 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 battle just not really going to take too much. We can go to the Pokemon Center afterwards as well. Before we head back up for Viridian. There we go. Charles defeated. How much money do we get? 144? We'll take that. Yep, it's definitely crawling with tough trainers. Alright. Now we're done with her, him, her, whatever. Remember there being a rare candy up here somewhere. I'm just gonna take a sec, quick, have a look. I could be wrong. There are rare candies all over the place. There we go. What our first encounter is? Ooh, it's Spiro. Don't have a Spiro yet. So, it's obviously not going to do a lot in the gym because, you know, again, weak to rock types, but... So yeah, we're not we're not going to do a lot because with it in the gym because it's going to be weak to rock types, but... I'm going to switch out here as well. I'm not, uh, I'm not taking the risk of it getting a crit on Tails. Um, I'm glad I did. Oof. But yeah, we're not... We're not, you know, going to put it in, in the gym. Um, if one of the trainers before has like a sand shrew, I think one of them has a sand shrew, or they've got, I think there might only be one in this game. If I remember rightly, there's only one in this game and two in the original. But either way, if there's a sand shrew, I'll let it come in and take it out. If there's not, I'm not too worried. Um, yeah. Although, then again, sand shrew's not fighting, is it? Sand shrew's ground, so yeah, it wouldn't even be worth that anyway. We're going to name this Spiro Pekka. Yes, Pekka's a good name. Welcome to the team, Pekka. So now that we're done there, we've got our capture for this route. We'll mark that one off the list as well. I don't think we can actually catch anything in Viridian City, so that one doesn't actually know there's water. So we'll have to remember, come back to Viridian City, because we can catch something in the water. 
I'll have to look up what goes in there so I know to try and avoid that later on. Or I can just come back and get a magic cart. Worst case scenario, just come back and get a magic cart. I haven't decided whether I'm going to be avoiding gift Pokemon or not, so make sure you comment down below if you want me to pick up gift Pokemon or if you want me to ignore them. I don't mind either way, I mean, there's not a lot of gift Pokemon, you get obviously the magic cart for the 500. Get uh, Lapras in Saffron City. If I do pick them up, I probably won't add them to the team straight away. Yeah, just about, do I want them? And uh, will they make the game too easy? I mean, comment down below if you want me to pick them up. If you do, I'll pick them up. If not, then I won't. But yeah, I'm probably going to do some grinding now after... I get back through Viridian Forest, so I'll come back afterwards.
So then guys, we're back from the grinding. That was a mildly long session, but needed, needed. Um, did a little bit of training with Pekka, did a little training with uh, Zippo. Yeah, Zippo's probably going to take the most in this as... Well, Tails probably won't take a lot. Wings and Pekka definitely won't be fighting a lot because obviously weak to rock. Um, Brock has some good rock type moves. Um, let's have a quick look at them. So there's the full whack. Pekka's got to level 8. I'll sort him out after the gym because we'll be going on to a new route soon. Got Hyper Fang on Tails, so that could be useful against Geodude because it does a lot of damage. 80 base power. Also make them flinch, so if I can get that off a few times if I've got a higher speed. Uh, Wings got not level 13, learnt Quick Attack, so. Good priority move. Obviously did nothing on Stinger. Um, no, no, I'll take that after. Zippo learned Metal Claw, which I've completely forgot he knew. Um, this must have been added uh, with Gen 2 or something. So, and I remember, rightly, Steel-type moves are good against Rock. So, this might not be as hard of a fight as I actually thought. I'm pretty sure Metal Claw is a physical attack in this generation. And our physical attack stat is pretty good. So, yeah. Right, let's go take it on. As I thought, there is only one, so we will... Who shall we bring out the face? Start with Wings, because if he does have the sand true, at least we've got something to take it down. And we can always switch out, worst case scenario. Alright, Thousand Light Years. Well, if Thousand Light Years is that short distance, then I'm going a long way in the future. Okay, we're starting with a Geodude. Which is fine, which is fine can easily see how much, get a couple of sand attacks off, because I don't think he's going to do too much straight away. Geodude, Geodudes never really have a good rock type of move at this level. So I think I've got a couple of, uh, couple of turns. Yes, already feeling the effects of the sand attack, that's good. I wonder how many we can go to. I think the maximum we can go to is five. Uh oh. Okay, starting to defense curl. I'm going to switch out now. Right, let's bring Zippo in. Let's start metal clawing. We don't want uh, we don't want this thing to be too bulky, especially as we're using metal claw. Metal claw is a normal is a physical type move, so. And before you jump on me in the comment section, oh, yes, I know about the physical special split doesn't exist in this generation. So physical type moves are dependent on the on the type rather than whether they are actually a physical or special move. So I know all fire type moves are special, all water type moves, all electric type moves, um, all grass type moves, all ice type moves. Is that all of them? And Psychic and Dark. They're all, they are all special. Um, the best way to, the best way to know if a move in this generation is special, does it have an evolution? If it has an evolution, it's special. If it's not, it's physical. So, yep. I know that. Okay. Bring in wings, see how wings will do. Because Sandrew's not rock, so he should do fairly good. Oh, defense curling out the bat. Yeah, we'll go for the gust, see if that'll do much. Oh, God. Should we throw a sand attack down? Yeah, let's throw a sand attack down. Take, take down some of its uh, accuracy, then at least we've, you know, 
Ooh. Ooh, that was powerful. If we can lower that accuracy so he uh, doesn't have uh, much against us. We can always switch out to Tails and Hyperfang our way to victory. This thing. But if he can't attack, then that's good. That, that's three sages? I think that's three sages. Yeah, we're going to switch out now. Bring in Stippo. Because we can just Metal Claw our way to victory. What are we going to do? Ember? How much does that do? Oh, okay. We'll Ember our way to victory then. Yeah. Got no problem with Ember. Oh, because Ember's special and he's raising his defense. Yeah, that'll be why that's doing better. Not sure if the same thing would work against Brock, though. Let's switch you out, put Zippo up the head, because he's got Geodude and Onyx, so that one's going to be a tough fight, but I'm confident we can take it. We've got, you know, we've got Zippo, level 13, he's close to level 14, Geodude's usually level 12, so we can take the Geodude out quite quickly with, yeah, level 12. With Metal Claw. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's what happens when it hasn't had a defense cold increase. So can we get one more off or should we go for the ambush right away? One more. Get one more off. Yes. Right, is he going to get a second defense co up? Yep, yeah, he is. So I wonder if an Ember will be able to take him out right here. Go for another Metal, metal Claw, see if that will get a bit more. No. Nope. And he's got another Defense card up. So he could... Yeah. I don't... I've, yeah, we'll go for the Ember. Because we, we want that damage regardless. Even though it's not very effective, that's more amount of damage. That's fine, yeah. And there we go, we got level 14. Be sure Charmander's are, Zippo's only off two levels from evolving. So he'll be our second evolution, looks like. And we're going to go in with the Metal Claw again. I can't remember if his Onyx has Harden. Should really look these things up. Oh. Oh. Heart skipped a beat then. As soon as I saw that Rock Tomb, I was like, uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 that's less than half health, um, if I take another one, if I take another one, that could be the end of Zippo, and I know I'm going to need two more moves, so let's potion up, see what he does. Play a little bit defense game now, and attack him. Really? That's fine, attack him. I'm going to get a Metal Claw in, oh, bind. That's still better than Rock Tomb. If I can outspeed him on the next turn, I'm hoping I can. No, ah, oh, thank God, tackle. All right, note to Brock: when you want to take a final fire type, use Rock Tomb. Much better than tackle. And that's Brock down. Woo! And, oh, we hit level 15, only one level away from evolving. I took you for granted and I lost. As proof of your victory, I convert you to this official Pokemon League badge, the Boulder Badge. Yes, thank you, Brock. Very helpful. I'm very, very thankful for that. I can use Flash outside of battle. As soon as I have Flash, I will probably use it. I will want to get through that tunnel nice and easy. We've got TM39. Which contains a rock tomb. Yeah. So yeah, comment down below who you think I should give rock tomb to. Um, just trying to think who will be better on, depending on who can learn it. 
I know both of the flying types can't. Tails might be able to. But we're going to call it there today, guys. I'm going to heal up. Make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Next week we're going to tackle, I believe it's Route 3. Route 3 just before Mount Moon. So we'll get across Route 3. We may even go into Mount Moon. But yeah, make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Ciao.